like what's at stake. And we introduce almost every character except for Ito's <coughs> pet, which is a baby baby brown bear. And uh, yeah, right now the, the the bear is making noise. I started the the episode and we're uh, we're outside Korai. Uh, I was about to say Korai Village, but. <laughs> no, it's uh, b b b outside the house, and you can hear. We can actually listen to the baby bear growling because it's hungry. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One o two. Make us bang at the door. Hey, Taro, open the door, meow meow! What was that noise? Master key is not in. Ah, the master key isn't even working. Ito no yatsu. Ito must have changed the lock. Because she put signs, do not disturb. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Muhi. Calm down. Please calm down. Now we see the bear scratching. Scratching at Ito's legs for food, like you know where, what, how dogs and cats are when they beg for food. Well, <coughs> the, the bear is just like that. <coughs> You're hungry, right? But just hang in there a little more, okay? I'll feed you soon, so just hang tight in the closet, alright? Okay, that, that's supposed to be the bear. <coughs> it's fine, okay? Be a good boy, please. Hi, you can hear me, right? Open the door. Uh, well, uh, 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 um. Looking at something. I don't know what she's doing, but. Oh, she... I'm taking a shower! Hey, what was that voice I just heard? Oh, that was, uh... That was uh, my voice? Huh? Well, yeah, it was me. Really? It sounded like some kind of animal to me. There are no pets allowed in Korai House, you know that, right? Yeah, 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 I know. But, uh, I, I don't have any pets, so... Uh, that's a bear. There it, there it is again! I heard it again! You've got something in there with you, don't you? I do not! I, I told you it's my voice! Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> that sounds pretty suspicious! Well, it's true, believe me! But why are you making these weird noises all of a sudden? Well, it's because um, it's kind of like a, a fit or a spasm, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't say it's Tourette, please. Don't say it's Tourette. Yeah! Yeah! When I breathe in the hot street, my throat starts to sting and I can't stop myself from making noises. You know how some people get red squashes on their body when they enter a hot bat, right? Well, it's like that. Like an allergy? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I've never heard of an allergy that makes you make weird noises! Well, there's only 10 cases confirmed around the world, and... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that! Well, yeah, yeah, that's how it is, so, uh, you know... Not scratching the... <clears throat> scratching for the door. Hey, 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 now, what was that? The bear is now scratching uh, to get back into the, the, the bed, so it's like scratching the, the wood plank. Oh no, my body itches! It itches so much, I need to scratch it! You're scratching way too much if it makes that sound, you're gonna start bleeding! I'm fine, I'm fine, and my skin's actually really tough! I think you're gonna need to be a more of a tough skin if you're scratching it that much! You can hear it too! There's no way you're 
telling me? I'm fine, I said. I just took a scab off. Sounds like it was a pretty big scab. Uh, uh, the voices again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, this thing's really getting on my throat. It's really making my uvula itch. Turn down the water temperature, damn it! Now she gets to the fridge. The fridge is full with milk and fish. <coughs> oh no, my my bloody itches! It itches so much. Ow, ow! Stop scratching it! You're gonna scratch up your skin. Now the bear is eating the fish. It's, 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 it's coming down. Phew. Okay, I'm fine now. I've come down. I'm not really sure I understand what's going on, but uh, uh, I, I think you should go to the hospital. You're young. You need to take care of yourself. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna go shopping, so if you need something, uh, talk to Narukino or Ramon, okay? Got it. Thank you for taking. See you later. See you later. Okay, she's gone. <sighs> I made it through that somehow, but... Mohi, I told you so many times to not make any noise. You won't be able to live here anymore if she finds you. <sighs> oh, jeez. You dummy. Alright, up you go! Carry into his arms. <coughs> Do I have time to refill my bottle? I'm gonna race. I one be right back after the end of the credits, I swear. Episode 3. Yes, sorry about the chair. Oh. Okay, another cutscene from uh, the, 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 the kids when they were uh, back in the institution with the tattoos. Okay, so Guriko is gonna be the witch who transformed into the queen, right? Because they, they, they show some acorns. Everybody gets an acorn. Don't know why, what's, what's it for. Pine is her servant, and I'll play Princess Acorn. <clears throat> Who's Princess Acorn? She's the Princess of Acorns, you know. Okay, we go. Clatter, clatter, clatter! I'm back in the back. What? Welcome back in the back. Wow, I'm so hungry. Tonight's dinner is acorn soup, acorn salad, and acorn served Genevieve style and wrapped in foil. Yeah, Pretends to eat. Uh, I guess acorns eat acorns. Uh, 
The food you just ate was poison. Now I'm the prettiest woman in the world. Are we getting our stories mixed up? And then the prince arrives on a white horse. You're the bad witch, right? I will defeat you. No, I won't let you stop me. Uh, you guys, when does the servant shows up? Yeah, you know our kids are when they're very young and they play pretend. Now they, they get to a story, then they go to another story, and then... I remember doing shit like that when I was really, really young. And then I remember uh, being a part of uh, my sister when she was through that phase too. And yeah, it was like, yeah, I know what you're going through, babe. Damn it again! I lost another day! I told you before, right? Meow meow! A spirit that just separated from its body is like a newborn baby. Nobody knows when it will wake up or when it will go to sleep. Then I can't go back to any specific time yet either, huh? Yeah. Your spirit power level still isn't high enough. Which means... Wait a second. You're just going to tell me to find the Nandara Gandara again, right? But first, there's something I want to ask you. It's about what we were talking about yesterday. What was the point of what the Kyumei group was doing? Why are they trying to reveal the truth about the asteroid, the military satellite, and the shelters? Tell me what you think. Do you really want to know, Meow Meow? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I'll give you the short version. You're aware that the Kyume group has their own unique apocalyptic religious belief, right? Now we're back into uh, the, the. The Shiranusuke explains it all world. Like with the, the white. Uh, and the, um, the, the the white walls and the blackboard. They want their world to be destroyed. They think it would be better if every single human died. In other words, they want asteroid DR1 to crash into the Earth. But that's stupid. They're stupid people, which is why they got involved with that weird tiny religious cult, meow meow. Anyway. They're trying to find some way to make VR1 hit hurt. And if their plant works, what's likely to get in their way? Uh, do you mean the shelters? That's right. Their ultimate goal is to wipe every human being off the face of the planet. Meow meow. So if somebody escapes into the shelters, their plan might fail. Even if VR1 does hit the Earth, there is no point if people are still alive inside the shelters, right? That's why they... They decided to reveal the US government's plot. Now... Um, now the shelters will be swarmed with people and surrounded, right? And then the ones chosen to be admitted to the shelters won't be able to get inside. But wait, what about Operation Intercept then? <clears throat> they said the US government plans to destroy VR-1 with nuclear missiles launched from a satellite. The Kyume group is trying to bring VR-1 down to Earth somehow, meow meow. That's what I just told you. In other words, they're trying to stop the nuclear missile launch. But how? Even if you don't know how, you shouldn't be able to figure out the cause and effect relationship, right? Who has to do what to bring VR-1 on a collision course with Earth? Think about that carefully. Bye-bye. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, wait. I'm not done. And he's gone. Damn it. Sorrowful Spirit, Episode 3. 
All right, now they say the cat is still here. Rabura is here. Narugino is here. Ito is here with the bear. We're gonna explore every room, starting with room 101. Mikatan. She's doing sit-ups, no pull-ups, <laughs> while reading manga. That's still Boraemon, right? Boraemon yeah, always makes me cry. Especially volume six. Okay. So, since she's doing a uh, girl's pull up with one hand, uh, it will be wise not to look uh, low. Alright, let's see about Hito, what she's doing with the bear. Give me your paw. Give me your other paw. Yeah. Bear, growl! Good boy. I'm still surprised he was living with a bear. I mean, it goes beyond surprising. It's kind of hard to put into words how shocking it is. I mean, it's a bear! I can't understand a dog or a cat or a turtle. But a bear? Keep, who keeps a bear as a pet? And when he's gonna grow up, he's gonna be grow up bigger than her. And uh, she better make him behave early in life, or else uh, he's gonna destroy the, the apartment. I've got no idea how she came to live with that thing. You go hitch up your fish while I brush your fur. There you go. There's still plenty more for you, don't worry. Speaking of things I've got no idea about, there's also that message that was on our computer screen last night. This year's victims. What the hell does that mean? And her name was on the list. Were those people on the list going to be victims or something? In other words, that video is like an advance notice? If it is, then that means Ito is in danger. Her name was at the end of the list. Oh. Cell phone? It's from Tomoda. Oh, that's right, Tomoda should know something. Oh, you finally picked up, huh? I've been really worried about you. You aren't coming to class at all. You aren't answering my texts or phone calls either. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize, but... Do you have enough money to get by? Yeah. I'm getting some sent to me. Are you are you working a part-time job or anything? No. Then what are you doing all day? I'm pretty busy. I'm piloting robots to fight enemies and taking care of a bear. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you're pretty busy, huh? Can I ask you something? You know what? Has anything weird happened in class today? Anything weird, huh? Uh, the education board found out that Mr. Shirata and Mrs. Kwan were having an affair. That's about the only thing. How's Rina? Is she doing okay? The girl from my class, I mean. Oh, Rina Asaka. Yeah, she's fine. She's got so much energy that it's actually a little aggravating. Then, what about Rumi, Anapari, or Rukaio, or Keru Kido? Wait a second. Is something going on with the with them? No. I just was curious, is all. If they're doing well... Oh, forget it. I understand. I don't really understand, but are you sure you're okay? Why? Well, I mean, mentally. Oh, is that, that's none of your business. Oh, I see. But, um... If something happens, tell me, okay? 
You can talk to me about whatever, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, there was something important I almost forgot to tell you. I went to Korai house yesterday. I wanted to give that thing back to you. But uh, you didn't answer the door when I rang. That thing? You know, that book you gave me, the, the All Indian Holy Text. Oh, you don't need to give that back? No, 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 I have to. That book's really valuable. I kind of already gave it back anyway. Huh? When I went to your room yesterday, I hung it on the doorknob. It wasn't the case, so... Uh... Okay, fine. I'll look for it later. Thanks. Bye. Wait, Muhi. He's about to open something. Don't poke your head out. Jeez. Oh, it's, it's the window. He's looking at the window. Yeah, the curtains are up. Don't look at the don't poke outside. People will know that uh, you're you're inside the house. And they're gonna freak out. Okay. So room 103, you our room, the one who possessed our bo body. We know we still can get in, but there you go. Damn it. No good. The barrier is still working. What the hell is Teroka doing in my room, though? Okay, let's see Meika's room. Empty. Yeah, looks like Meika went somewhere. Everything is open. Uh, there's nobody here. Now, Rabura. Message? A message? So It's from Greece, Samada. It's from Greece. The guy you thought. Rabura, thank you for your answer. I'll be there. I'll be waiting there for you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Tomorrow's the 24th. Christmas Eve? A date on Christmas Eve? Wait, please? Oh, what do I do? Oh. Yeah, for those who don't understand uh, Japanese culture, um, Christmas Day is like... It's, it's like a, a, a couple's... Uh, it's like a, a couple's day, like Valentine's Day for us. We celebrate Valentine's Day too, but it's like the girls give uh, chocolate to boys and on white day which is like on March March the 3rd I think uh, the boys must uh, give them give um, a, a gift which is I think it's three times the value of uh, of the chocolate so yeah and Christmas is for it's for both of them like they, they give each other present it's like a romantic uh, holiday He's gonna tell me he likes me! He's gonna tell me he likes me! He's gonna tell me he's in love! Oh. So that means I should wear something on oh, you know? Oh no, I don't know if you need it, so it's too soon for that! I might get lucky, but no, it's too soon! I don't know if you well, who's this police guy anyway? It's pretty clear that Rabura's got a crush on him, but... I wonder if I can communicate with him, with her, like I did yesterday. Who, Mika? If I could leave, if I could have a conversation with her, I could probably ask her about a lot of other things, not just please. I tried moving the banana peel and the Panama hat, the Panama hat guy, but it didn't work like it did yesterday. <clears throat> oh, I should have known. If what Shiranosuke said is right, move things without stopping time, I need a room to be full of cinnamon. He said that cinnamon has a strange effect that enhances her power. But after a full day, the air in the room was totally clean. Oh well. I guess I'll have to give up for now. 
All right, now back to room 203, where the cat is. Well, well, what are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here, meow meow? I can't you hear your answer to the homework problem I gave you. Who has to do what for VR1 to crash into Earth? Why does he have a nosebleed? He got too excited and then he passed out and then... Uh... Did I just kill Dirt? I killed Earth, didn't I? Oh, that was a flashback. Oh, I know the answer. It's what happened if I get excited twice, right? But I don't know why. How does that cause VR1 to hit her? Is it because Operation Intercept failed? But if that's the case, then what's the relationship that caused that result? I mean, think about it. It's the Kyume group that's trying to stop our Operation Intercept. I have nothing to do with it. Oh! Wait a minute, there is a connection! Now we see uh, room 103, we see Yuta. Well, the guy who possessed our body. There's a connection between me and the Kyume group. It's probably one of the Kyume group's leader, Ryoto Teraoka, who's possessing my body. I see, so that's it. I'm starting to figure this out. This is what you told me, right? My astral body is connected to my physical one by what's called a soul core, right? Which means that it's possible that the mental state of my astral body can travel through that core and cause some kind of effect on my physical body. If that's the case, then when I get excited by seeing panties or whatnot, that ends up exciting the guy who's taking over my body, right? Is that it? Oh, he's picking sleeping. Don't want to give me the answer. I'm gonna pound you into kitty later, you stupid cat! Oh, sorry, sorry, I was just having a nice nap, meow meow. That's not even an excuse. But don't worry, I heard what you said, meow meow. Yeah, that's mostly accurate. What do you mean mostly? Mostly as in you didn't get it exactly right. But how though? Oh, it was almost right, but not quite. Uh, what's not right about it? You didn't show enough respect when you say the word panties. What? Well, either way, it's just that when your astral body gets excited, your physical body does too, meow meow. And the result of all the stuff that's happened after that is that VR1 falls to Earth. But what stuff happens after that? Stuff, you know, stuff! But what stuff? Moving on! You just need to not worry about it, meow meow, and focus on getting your body back. I've said this plenty of times before, meow meow, but if you get your body back, this whole thing will be resolved. Got it? That's an order! An order? Who the hell does he think he is? I was supposed to be scared. Ah! Usually he shows my scary face when I explore everything and then he comes back and then boo. Did I scare you, meow meow? No. Liars don't get laid, you know. I wish this expression was true. What the hell does that mean? So, uh, did you find anything, meow meow? Well, yeah, listen to this, Shirosuke. Great news. It looks like on Ito's doorknob. That's it! I didn't say it yet, though. You don't have to tell me. I already know. You found an Andaragandara, right? Yeah, yeah, there's an old Indian holy text there. Mm -hmm. And let's go to Ito's room. Why don't you? Alright, wait, 102. Give me a paw. Yeah. 
You are the ball. Yeah. On your hind legs and do the bear. Yeah. Good boy, good boy. Ito totally forgot. Ito is totally forgotten. She doesn't even remember there's a book on the doorknob. Wait, is there a book on the doorknob? There's a case. What is this? Yeah, there's a suitcase. It's put on the doorknob, but the way it's put, I I I hope that this door is uh is a pull, cause um uh, gets pulled from the outside, cause um the way it's set now um. Somebody could have locked her inside her room. So, oh, what's this? Look, Zack, it's a chicken meow meow. But at the current spirit power level, you won't be able to open it. Dang it. I knew I wasn't going to be that easy. So, uh, do I have to do what I did yesterday again? Yep. Seems so. So, you can eat it at two. Here is your order for today, meow meow. Lead Ito to the door and get her to remember the book. But where do I start, though? Why not start by trying to get that bear Mewhi over to the door? Him? It's probably not going to be that easy, though. So... Oh, I should start by getting soul fragments, huh? Indeed. Good luck. Alright, so... Use this room to gather up lots of soul fragments! This time we're staying in Ito's room, huh? That's right! I think here... I know, I know, I can gather lots of soul fragments, right? Then get to work! Keep an eye on the number of times you can play tricks and watch out for panties! Okay, she's playing in her computer. Today I'm finally gonna get that 50 kill zero death streak. Last night the power that screwed me up, but I can feel it. Tonight's my lucky night. The time's come from Torahashiro to create a new legend. Alright, so trick start. So intermediate spirit power loser. This is my level. Oh yeah, sometimes she gets up to get mad. Um Open the curtains. No, I, that's not scary. What can I do? What else? Okay. Gotta be careful. Using the bear. Yeah, I knew it. When she gets off, I got a panty shot, but uh... Alright, I'm gonna knock off the, the figurine here. That's gonna scare her, cause she, lo she loves those figurines. Okay... Two more. Clean up in progress, please wait. Okay. I'm glad it's okay. Okay, what else can I do? Power off. Oh, this is gonna be wait. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a powerful shot. She's gonna be knocked on her ass. But I cannot access it from here. Move the garbage. No. Power off. Here you go. Again! Why did the power go off? Damn it! I almost had it this time! No, she's bringing a tantrum and now I gotta get out. Okay, I'm full, I'm full. Gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out, because I have a fancy shot. Now! Phew! <laughs> Damn it! This time I'm getting it! No matter what! Level up! 
Time my ideas been destroyed, zero. Time red zone was reached, zero. I lost my chance to set a record again. Ah! Splendidly done, meow meow. Your spirit power went up a level. It is now level three. Your title went up a rank two. It is now advanced spirit power user. Ah, too easy. Too easy, yeah, haha. -ha. Alright, now we can save. Yes, I wanna save. Now, uh, keep an eye on the number of times you can play tricks and watch out for panties as you do the trick chain. If you can complete the trick chain, you'll be able to successfully complete this order. Okay. Now I can move around. Alright, uh, let's see Mikatan room. Okay, now she's stopping uh, exercising, now she's cooking. King, what can I do? Now! Why did the camera put me there? <laughs> Is there something I need to see that now? Now! 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 I'm trying to look around. Peripheral. Peripheral vision. No! Come on, come on, come on. No, okay, never mind, never mind. There's nothing there. There's nothing else, it's just, it's just a trap. That was a trap. Okay, I got four... I got four tries. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. No. Is that it? Stop, stop. Oh, yeah! Oh, I, I can see now. She's, um... Because she's cooking and um, the ventilation is on, so she can... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna stop that. There you go, the ventilation is stopped, so that way the fume and the steam from the... whatever she's cooking is gonna... Something strange! Well, whatever! Okay, she doesn't... She, 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 she feels the draft is not moving anymore. Alright, so is that... Okay, so this part is done. Uh, let's see... Let's see Rabura. Okay, she's sitting on the floor reading a magazine. Well, where should I go with these tomorrow? I need to start taking now so I can have a wonderful Christmas Eve. Maybe pancakes on Main Street? Or what about that one place that sells popcorn? They're all gonna have lines out the door, but it might be fun to spend time with Grease that way. Or maybe the movie followed by dinner in a fancy restaurant like you see romance movies? Yeah, if you plan to go on a restaurant on Christmas, you better have made your reservation, and I meant two weeks ago. Or else they won't let you in. 
followed by a naughty encounter in a hotel room overlooking the city at night. Oh, yes, you're so aggressive. All right, so what's in their kitchen? No cinnamon. The fan is off too, but I don't think that's uh, gonna connect to anything. Okay, nothing in the kitchen. What about here? Tear the pages? Oh, that's gonna be the trigger! Tearing the page? Now! Okay, if, if that's the trigger, I'm gonna go to Ito. Very well, I, Torashiro, shall be your opponent. Behold the power of a 4.85 TDR! Die! Oh, I'm so hungry. Mm, but I'm lazy to make anything. Oh, I see where this is going. I'm gonna have to make her step outside. So that way she's gonna get out of the room to go to Nahugino, which is her neighbor. She's gonna smell her cooking. That's gonna take her out of the, of the room, but how do I make her leave? Why does being alive make Kuri up with all this annoying crap? Hmm. What? Stop camping, you noob! Alright. Okay. Put on the floor. What's that? The fish? Oh, if I put the fish on the floor, the bear is gonna get in the kitchen. I'm gonna try that. Fish on the floor. There you go. The fish is on the floor. Okay. So is that it? Is there anything else? Power off? No, it's gonna be the same thing. No? I think I'm ready for my trigger. I'm gonna tear the page. There you go, tear the page. Now! If I'm going straight at it, I'm looking at panties, it's not gonna be possible. I gotta tear the page from the side. There you go! Oh, a lot of page has been torn. All right, trigger start. Huh? What? The pages get torn out. What's going on? I can't read the important part now. And I need it for my day to please, too. This magazine got a special out she's made. Which means maybe Mikata's got a copy too. Oh, I'm so smart! <laughs> Time to go to Mikata's room. Now she goes down to Mikata's room. Can you help me with something? Oh no, all the miss I was holding went into the, the dang pot! Oh... You were cooking, oh sorry to scare you! Uh, all the missiles gonna make a darn heck of a dish! Uh, Mikatan, what did you just say? Oh, what? Uh, nothing, nothing! Uh, nothing at all! It's just my... Thank you, side action again! Uh, but I need to make a bunch more now that it's got all this miso in it. I can't eat it at all, so if you want some rubber on? Uh, thanks, but you want to share it with the others too? Yeah, that's right. I'll share stuff with those rubber too. Anyway, uh, rubber on. Did you need something? Oh, right. I wanted to ask you. Oh, it's about this week's issue of Tokyo Walk magazine. 
Now the steam is not going through the vent, now it's coming out. Now uh, the bear is sm smelling it. Now it's going outside, now you saw the fish. Here's the door. Okay, the fish dragon close to the door and then the smell coming out of the door grabbed the, the brought the, 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 the bear next to the, the door, but now Huh? Mui's not here. Where did you go? Now she's left her the video game. Oh there you are near the door. Wait, your food! Did you do this? Muhi! Wait, what are you doing? The door? There's something on the door? Oh, I think I'm forgetting something important. Yeah! Order complete! Times my team has been destroyed. Zero times red zone was reached. Zero. Oh, Mu is even more aggravated. What's gotten into him? Alright, oh, I forgot. Tomoda said he left the book I lent him on the doorknob. Now I save. Yep. <clears throat> Save and complete. Punchline. We'll be back after these messages. Punchline. And we're back. <sighs> oh, now Mika's back. Phew, that was close. I managed to get the parts I needed before the store closed. Anyway, what a weirdo. Why would you brush over looking at me there? Sheesh. I guess you can't help it, you know? The whole situation's pretty complicated. Really, they got it rough. Good, it's back. Okay, that's not the book I was looking for. I told him I didn't need it back, but of course, that's a lie. This book, it's Sex Change Time Yayoi, is... The book is called It's Sex Change Time Yayoi. This... From all the way back from when Indian Heart Attacks, the giant of the VR world, was just a doji noter, meow meow. From all the way back from when Indian Heart Attacks. It's an ultra super premium rare book that's extremely difficult to get, meow meow. Oh, what's got it into you? I can't stay quiet when BL is involved, meow meow. Man, I'm so jealous of each other, meow meow. To think that she has a copy of that legendary dojinshi, it's sex change time, yayoi, meow meow. Oh, you haven't heard of it, change time, yayoi? Of course not. Alright, alright, I'll explain then, meow meow. Back to the chalkboard. Here's the basic plot of It's Change Time, It's, it's Sex Change Time, Yayoi. Yayoi is a BL loving girl. She has a strange rotten wish. Someday she wants to become a boy and do all kinds of naughty things with the other boys. Okay. And so Yayoi travels to Bangkok in Thailand. Okay, okay, I get it, that's enough. Anyway, this Tomodo guy. Because apparently that's a running gag in Japan. Like, if you want to check exchange, you go to Bangkok, Thailand, and then you get it for cheap. 
Uh, yeah, he was talking about this old book by the Indian holotext called it's Shikshin Time Yayoi, right? And I misheard it was an old Indian holy text since he took cut him off. Yeah, so it seems meow meow. Uh, is it okay if I scream? Go ahead, meow meow. Nobody's gonna listen to you. You're a ghost. What the hell, man? Oh, back on Ito's apartment. Sheesh. Ah, oh, you're so loud. Who is it? Fee, fi, fa, fa, my imposter man. Oh, Mikatan, huh? Come on, open up! What do you want? I made too much japa soup. What the hell is japa soup? Oh, it's a dish from Tsugaru. You stew fish and vegetables in a pot with miso, and everybody say yum yum and blows it on it as they eat it. I'm not hungry, even though my my uh, my stomach grumbles. It's it's not mine. It's it's the bird that I'm not supposed to have either. So go away, please. Liar! I just heard your tummy rumble. You did not. I did. Of course, I could hear it from here. Now I hear it again. See? Fine. Okay, open the door. But once you leave the pot, there, go away. Okay? As you wish. As you wish. <gasps> Quick, hiding there, okay? I'll let you out soon. Sorry about the inconvenience. Now he's hiding the bear. She's hiding the bear. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, let's eat. Ito, you just gotta try this. Oh, one of the girls from Shizu is from Aomori. So I picked up her Tsugaru dialect. It's the same with his Japa suit. She told me how to make it. I don't care, could you please leave? You promised to just set the pot down and leave, did you? But it tastes better if we eat together, no? I like being alone, thank you very much. Oh, I see. I guess I have to then. What's this? What was that voice? Me? Huh? I made that noise? Who else? You see? Uh, I don't really understand, but... What is that? Oh, it's like the coughing pit. When I breathe in hot steam, I give hot noises like that. I think it's because of the pot of soup. Oh, Ito. Are you okay? With what? Do you have something on your mind or something? Oh, really? Are you going outside? I know it's cold, but if you stay in your room all the time... You'll go crazy, I mean, like an actual mental health problem. I'm happy you're concerned for me, but I'm totally normal. You're not normal! You're not normal at all, Ito! I'm fine, I'm telling you, I'm fine, I'm going outside. It doesn't look like it. Your hair is a mess. You're a girl, so you need to better care of your appearance. Nobody asked for your advice. Huh? Nothing. I know, I'll fix your hair up. Uh, where's the brush? Looking for the brush? Ah, there it is. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's the the brush for the bear. Oh, the hair is stuck. This looks like oh, the hair that's stuck. 
Your hair that's stuck to this looks like needles. <laughs> it's one of those brush. <laughs> it's like a metal brush. Alright. It's a metal hair brush. I'm gonna take a sip. That's rude, isn't it? Oh, oh sorry! I, I, I didn't mean it! Wait! What is that? Sake? Salmon? That's a 15 inches long salmon! Yes, why? What's it doing on the floor? Well, I was eating it. Nom 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 nom! Ito! What? What's that? You're supposed to eat it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a part of my sandwich just, just so I'm gonna be like realistic munching noise. I thought I was supposed to eat it. Mm. Why not? The sandwich is cooked. You are touching me and sushi raw, right? True, but you should at least put some soy sauce on it or something. Oh, shut up. I'll eat it anywhere I want! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. So what's that then? The walls are scratched up! Oh, back! I was scratching my back, nothing to worry about! You were rubbing your back and it did it! And it did all that?! Yeah, but no. my back's harder than most people, yeah? And it's got these little spike-like protrusions on it. Like a stegosaurus, you know? That's probably a really bad disease, I think. Just leave me alone! Now she's using the brush on her. She looks like... she looks silly. She's eating the salmon raw, she's brushing her hair with the, the metal the metal brush. And she's rubbing her back on the wall. Ito, Ito, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I get it, I get it! It's okay, so just calm down! Somebody! Somebody come here quick! Ito! Ito's in trouble! What's going on? What happened? Now Miko and the rubber eyes in the the room. What are you doing? Don't tell me she's possessed by a fox. That's what I heard. Get ready to do an exorcism. Oh, I told you I can't do exorcism. It's no about that, guys. Listen to me. Ito's. Ito's just got. She's got fucked on her back like a stegosaurus! That's not good. I think she they better be off being possessed by fox if you ask me. Uh, uh, I tried to take her head. She was saying something about that. Her body was really itchy, she said. I certainly didn't think that which was because she had stegosaurus spike on her back now. But Ross doesn't ex but that doesn't explain why she's eating raw salmon, right? Oh. Mm. I don't even explain why she's brushing herself either. I think it was evolving into some kind of different creature. That's why she has to chill down and raw salmon and brush it with her right here. 
ますます赤いやつやあ、oh, あ、no, that's even worse メーカーも、ジュリアルのアベンチャーが勝つエボリューションそうなんあるかあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、あ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、うなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、そうなんあ、Yeah, she can feed her salmon and shed baby. t h o u g h it's full with, full filled with eggs. It's like caviar. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. But my back itches so much. Oh, la la. What am I gonna do? Oh, especially the spikes. They're really itchy. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Nantene. Now, the, the bear is coming out of his hiding and he wants to eat the salmon too. And、um, Ito is like, Ha ha, fooled you! You most certainly did not! What the heck is that brown furry creature? It's, it's definitely a bear! No. No, 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 no. This is, this is my little brother, Muhi. Muhi, Muhi Kyotani. He's in second grade. He, he's just learned his time stable. Come on, Muhi, it's time to go home to mom and dad. You're a terrible liar. I told you no pets allowed in Korai House. But r a b u l a s got a turtle, right? Even though I hate turtles, turtles are fine! They don't cry or make a fuss or damage the rooms! That's why I'll leave that girl s t a y here too! Boys cry and make fusses and mess up their rooms, right? And obviously, bears are out of the question! Come to think of it, you don't like furry animals, do you? That's got nothing to do with it! I just want to protect this place! My grandfather left me Korai House when he died! But what's the baby bear doing here anyway? I found him on a rainy day. I saw him crying in the cardboard box and. You took pity on him and took him home? Well, at first, I didn't mean to. But I gave him a can of salmon I just happened to be carrying and he followed me home. When was it? When was this? About a month ago? I don't know how you managed to keep it hidden for so long. He's supposed to be doing its winter hibernation right now, so he spends most of his days asleep. So he's almost never cries or damaged anything. But since he's living with me, he can't go into full hibernation. Alright! I understand the situation. If it was really a bad guy, I'm sympathetic. I do feel bad. But now that you know what I'm doing, I want you to calm down and think about this. It's a bear! You understand? A bear! Even if it's a baby bear, it's still a dangerous creature! And their animal protection laws is a specially designated creature! If you want to keep one, you need the government's permission! By the way, so you got permission, right? Of course not! I guess I don't have a choice then! Sorry, but I'm calling animal control! Wait! Doki! Move! The bear is blocking. 
<laughs> like, Ito is blocking the bear. No, you can't have it. And now the bear is protecting Ito. What? You wanna fight? Well, if you call animal control, I'll set fire to Kura house. What? Just try it! I won't let go of Muhi! Never, never, ever, ever! He's all I have! He's, it's all I have! He's the only one who understands me. Um, isn't there something we can do, Mika? Huh? Well, we can stay here for a little, right? You'd be sad to tear them apart when it means so much to her. What are you talking about, Nagino? But I think you should let it stay too. Well, who cares about the bear or two? I care! I don't mean forever. Well, you're right, bears are dangerous animals. But doesn't that make this seem strange? What's the baby of a dangerous animal like that doing abandoned in a cardboard box? It's true. If the media found out, they would make a big deal out of it. It feels like some kind of conspiracy. So, I think we should look into it. We can turn him over to the authorities once we've done that. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility, okay? So please! Fine! If it's really that important to you, Narugino... But I'm setting a time limit, okay? Midnight on New Year's Eve! You need to set on this before the New Year's Eve bell finish ringing! If you still haven't figured anything out, I'm calling animal control and no arguing this time! Isn't that great, Ito? Isn't what great? Well, you get to stay with him, right? Aren't you happy? It's only for a while, there's no point. Once the New Year starts, it's over. Mugi will be taken away. Why did you make a promise like that? Hey, you don't have to be so mean about it. Mikatan was trying to help you with the baby bear, you know. I didn't ask for your help. Now Rabura slaps you Enough! Leave. Just leave! I, I told you Ito's my cousin, right? She didn't used to be like that. She loved finding neat little bugs, so she spent all her time running around in open fields. She was fun. She was a part of the student council a bunch of times in middle and elementary school. But she wasn't the serious goody goody type. She was cheerful and uh, lively. I think everyone looked up to her. But this year, everything has so suddenly changed. She started skipping school, then in spring, she just stopped going altogether. What happened? She won't even tell me. Did her mom and dad tell you anything? Nothing really. They probably don't know the cause. Why? Those two don't care about their daughter. All they care about is their son, Ichia. He's two years older than her and he's trying to get into college right now. That's one reason he goes there here right now. Flashback. 
Ito. Oh, Ito is such a useless girl. She doesn't go to school, she locks herself in a room and won't come out. Why does she think we're paying those high tuition fees? That's right. Her brother Ichi has got those important exams coming up. She's a bad influence on him, isn't she? He probably can't concentrate on his studies while her playing all those games in the next room. And what will other people think about this? If this gets out, my reputation as head of the Board of Education will be ruined. Okay, now I'm pissed, but... It might hurt you in the next election. It's just a mess, really. And so you brought her. That's right. I brought her here to Kurai House. She must be lonely, huh? Well, she needs to make the effort to change that, though. But... I know! Why don't we have a party tomorrow? Party? Christmas party? Look at how tomorrow's Christmas Eve, right? So we can all have a party together! Of course! We're gonna invite Ito too! Oh, um, uh, I don't know about that. Do you have plans? Uh, yeah, kind of. I guess we can do it tomorrow then. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, it'll work something out. I'll work something out. Oh, it's okay, you don't need to worry about it. No, really, I'll make it work. You're trying to put on a party for Ito's sake. I can't really get ruined for my sake, can I? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, then it's a promise! Got it. But will Ito come? Ito no hea ni? To Ito's room? That's right! I hope Mika's not opposed to it. I won't let her be. I'll persuade her. But in exchange? In exchange? Can you talk to Yuta for me? Oh, you having him come too? I mean, we all live in the same house, right? Well, that's true, but... Finishes our teeth. Oh, fine. Leave it to me, then. I'm counting on you. Do you have a crush on Yuta or something? No, it's not that like that. Are you sure? Poke, 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 poke. Stop poking me there! I am! You drunk? No, oh, I'm not as thick. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. <laughs> she is drunk. I'm not as drunk. She meant as not, I'm not as drunk as you think I am, but she messes her world. I'm not that. I'm not as. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. <laughs> oh, you got it, girl. Oh, cell phone. This is Ito's cell phone, huh? What is this? Frontier and man uh, at Ijiwara. I didn't have didn't time to read. I didn't thought it was gonna be time until humanity is destroyed. Eight days. All right, ending credit. <laughs>
to be continued right now. We're gonna save, of course, we're gonna save. Now she brings up a suit. It's like the oh the octopus suit from episode one. Oh, uh, this is a squid, isn't it? Yeah, she's wearing she's wearing like a she's wearing a onesie, but it, it's shaped like an octopus. The sleeves are shaped like tentacles, and the hoodie shaped like a squid's head. And there's eyes coming out. Yeah, but this is no ordinary squid! This costume is equipped with a super high-tech optical camouflage stealth system. Oh, don't tell me. So... This is, uh... This is Octocamo. Like, the same as Metal Gear. Like, uh, the octopus who can, uh... But why is it squid? Oh, you didn't know? Squids are masters of optical camouflage. But it's not cute, is it? It doesn't have to be cute! Once you click the switch, nobody will be able to see it anyway! There was no reason to make it look like a squid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she has a point. So if nobody could see it, there was no reason to make it look like a squid, was there? Just try it on, would you? Hang on a second. So why do I have to put it on? Isn't it obvious? I made this to help support strange juice in a fight against evil. If you don't wear it, who will? No, you're wearing one yourself. Anyway, uh, I'll pass. Why? Because it's creepy. I told you! Oh, forget it. It's fast as you show you. Just watch. And she's invisible. She disappeared. See? Amazing, huh? Yeah, it's amazing. It really is amazing. But I still don't want to wear it. It feels kind of cowardly to wear it when you fight. I went to a lot of trouble to make it. Forget that. Are you sure you won't reconsider? Sorry. So now we see uh, she has a, a Christmas tree inside of her house, uh, inside of the apartment. She decorated everything because uh, not to brag or anything, but it's already December 24th. So it's already Christmas Eve. Consider what? Christmas party no ken da yo. The Christmas party. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll come, right? Mm. Uh oh, this karaoke is the emergency signal. Yeah, it's the emergency signal. She's white now. Mega, once Hamura comes back, can you tell her I might be a little late? え、けど、今日はまだ参加しなくて決めたわけ。あ、全然、ガラガオ。いいから、お願い。どうしたピオって。しゃあないな。言うとこ。ハウ
Yeah, she's actually dancing like an idiot. Now she pulls the, the string on the ceiling light, and then the suit falls down. And then she puts on her suit. Hello! I got some of your strange juice! Have you put on more weight? Shut up! More importantly, hurry! I know! Now the, the, the table... I think it's a kotatsu. The kotatsu opens, and now there's like the, the elevator. So hey, what about the energy maker? Well, I told you I don't need a rice! So far. I see! Okay, give me the briefing on the way. Yeah, take care. Now the elevator goes to the secret garage. Narugino, Narugino knows, right? She's really close to hitting the limit. <coughs> Speedmaker, take off! Pew! Suspicious. This is Ito. Wow, she's looking uh, at something. I don't know what. Oh, she heard! She heard Narugito get off! Yeah, yeah, because since it's a, it's a secret, nobody knows about uh, Narugino being a, a, a superhero. But uh, yeah, like, okay, now she, she heard the noise and then from the... Like she was spying on them by putting her hair next to the wall and she heard the conversation, she overheard the conversation. And with the noise, like, to the garage and stuff like that. Another flashback. Hey, hey, look, Guri Pine. She's uh, holding a black cat. Ta da! What is that? Mr. Ishigata gave it to me. He said I could have one of the cats they use for the experiments. You're not happy? It's just one, right? There are a lot of other animals they use for experiment, right? I don't know about just having this one. Well, I guess it's okay if it's just one. You should be happy to have a new friend. Let's give him a name. Um, how about... Callie? C A L L I E. Kali. Kali? Well, this cat, this cat is black, though. Huh? Did you, did you maybe not know? Kali is the name you give to calico cats. This is a black cat, so we name him. Blackie. I don't want I don't want to name him Blackie. Yeah, name him Kelly. 
His name is Callie. It's subtle. Nice to meet you, Callie. December 24th, Wednesday. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. Hey, 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 you John, calm down, meow meow. Why don't you get? I don't get everything, you stupid cat. For example, for example... Well, the weird video on Ito's computer, that's for one. It's okay, don't worry, I'll kill them for you. The early message on their phone. Okay, so the thing I missed... Uh, when we uh, went to the ending credits like there was an email that says from frontier dash edman uh, at eggweb.ne.jp to Ito Ikyotani it only says it's okay don't worry I'll kill them for you and we have no idea what they're talking about are they talking about oh, anyway. Sorry. Sorry, I was having another sandwich bite. I'll take a sip. And then there's that baby bear she says she picked up on a rainy day movie. And then... It's all got to do... It's all got to do with Ito, huh? Yeah. But that's not all. What's most important is the Chubei group. Why did one of their leaders, Ryoko Teraoka, take my body? It's on, I'm on my fourth day without the body. What's he doing in my room? Uh, watching vi adult videos all day on DNN.com, meow meow? <laughs> or probably not, I guess. How did he get there? How did he get here anyway? Feels weird to see him when he's using my body though. Uh, you had a license or something in your wallet, right? Yeah, I do have a scooter license. So he used the, the address in it to get there here? Maybe. Either yeah, way, it's clear that after he took your body, he found his way here, meow meow. I know what happened. You came in to room 103 dragging your soul behind him like a balloon. I see. Afterward, the balloon slipped through the ceiling and into his room, which is directly above room 103. That's why I was here on the first day I woke up, right? Indeed. But what's he doing here? If you want to stop Operation Intercept, there's no need for him to come to my room. Take sleep. This is ticking me off. Where are you going, Meow Meow? Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll find out on my own. Oh. Well, if I go to the Kyume group stage, you should learn something, right? Hey, wait, your turn. Now I'm trying to leave. Now I'm outside, and now the cat is blocking my way. Okay, stop. I won't let you go another inch. Move. Now, if you go any further, meow meow, you'll... You'll never be able to go back to your body. What? The maximum stretching distance of a short cord is 216 meters. If you go any further, the short cord won't be able to take the strain and it will snap. You don't need me to tell you what that means, do you? 
Oh, you mean I die? Well, as you know, Korai House is surrounded by a tree filled park. The park is, three, is 330,000 square meters. You could fit seven Tokyo domes inside of it. And Korai House, where you live, is smack dab in the middle of it. It's just this one building, and it's completely isolated from the surrounding residential area. Then the only place I can go is Korai House. And Ishinogari Shrine in the park. Of course, there's nobody living there, so there's no point in visiting, visiting it. Oh, but of course, if your body moves from your room, things change. What do you mean? Well, if your body leaves Karai House, of course, your astral body will be pulled along with it. Yeah, it's like, it's 216 meters from the body. Staying within a radius of 260 meters, like the balloon in the example I gave before, but I can't get it. Get him out of the room. The barrier is blocking me, so there's nothing I can do. Yep. Anyway, meow meow. You just have to do what you can. Find the Nandala Gandala and take back your body. That is your task, and it's the only way you have to resist. Resist? Resist face. Anyway, good luck. And he got. Resist fate. Hmm. Ultra high tech optical camouflage. Alright. So let's explore the whole house again. So this time, Ra uh, Rabura is gone. Because she's having her date. And the rest, uh, yeah, Mikatan is, is planning her party and stuff like that. This is the this is the third time them Kyume fellas have taken hostages. So this is Aoi on the phone. Yay! And once again, Strange Joe saved the day. Dying that Strange Joe's is so cool. Oh no, I hate that cool. Huh? Oh, Alice, I don't like her. Oh, she sure is cool. Of course she's cool. Mika Town, have you been watching TV? No, of course not really. I've been so busy practicing for the musical. Then you don't know about how the cops raided the Kume HQ. No, I know that. It was a couple days ago, right? But he ain't like uh, all the things I've missed, right? There's them and foresters, I think. There's still a bunch of them working, I think. Ah, uh, it's just a matter of time. Oh, that Jay's gotta get them all. I don't know if it'd be that easy. If it was, uh, if, we, if it was all you want, please say, Jay, just show up and beat them all up. But if it all speed up, I don't know what you could do. Oh yeah. By the way, did you see that video they made? Yeah, it's just a little. Is it true? Is that VR one thing gonna hit her? No way, of course it is. The chief cabinet secretary said that it was a stress conflict. The people from NASA says it weren't possible. Aren't there any people who believe it? I guess some people are protesting, but most people ain't concerned about it. Not in exchange, you know, at least. Ain't no panic or anything. Talk to you all later, girl. I don't want anything stopping me from seeing French firms and Shirashi Sushi next year. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mama's calling me. Yeah, okay, bye now. Talk to you later. Man, Rubber is taking her time. I got back and she's still not here. I thought the party would start a long time ago. What's she doing? 
All right, so let's check uh, Ito's room. Yeah, she's she's on the floor sitting next to sorry, next to the bear. So, what was that message I got yesterday? Somebody's idea of a prank? Yeah. It has to be. But then what about that video? I mean, that video was. Now uh, see on the um, we see on the the video the computer screen I think we have a footage of um strangers can I have your autograph? I'm a huge fan. Yes, of course. Wow, of all the things. Holy sugar! Have you got a mono pen now, Andy? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have another pen besides this one? No, this is the only one. Uh, I see. What's that? Santa Claus has converted to Buddhism in an edict for a Zen monastery? Got it. I'm, a, got it. I'm on my way. Sorry, kiddo. I'll have to give you another one some other time. Oh, what? But... Fair. Farewell. A turtle? Yeah, I think she. Yeah, she. Uh, they did say that Narugino doesn't like turtles, but I can't believe that. That there's a. Uh, like she would refuse an autograph from a fan just because uh, the, the 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 tip of the fan is shaped like a turtle. Do you don't you have any other fans? Like oh look at it. Uh, I I got an emergency on my way. Blah 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 blah. And like she 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 faked an emergency to, to run away. Like something's wrong. There must be a reason why she doesn't like turtles. But okay, let's see room one hundred three. Yeah, the barriers are strong as ever and it covers the whole room. Rats Teraoka is doing inside. No way. Was Teraoka already inside the whole time? Maybe he's been going outside when I'm unconscious. If your body leaves Karai House, of course, your astral body will be pulled along with it. Death with a rate within a radius of 260 meters, like the balloon in the example I gave before, Meow Meow. That's what's going on. That's awful. My body is out there doing things, and I have no control over it. I hope he's not doing anything weird. Okay, let's try uh, Maker's room. Oh, she's sitting on, on her chair. Uh, I worked so hard to make that sir. Why won't Navigino see me use my invisible gear? It's the result of over 20 years of research. 20 years? What's she talking about? If she's been working as an inventor for 20 years, that means she has to be older than that. Even she started inventing at age 10, that means she'd at least she'd be 30 this year. No way, that's impossible. She doesn't even look that that old. There's no way she can be 30 and look like that. Uh, the, problem, the problem with that, the problem with it is that it doesn't last long, Mew Mew. Uh, no, wait, it's not, I don't know why I'm doing sure of his voice, it's, uh, makeup. The problem with it is that it doesn't last long. Even at full charge, you can only go invisible for 8 minutes. Of course, for straight juice, 8 minutes is long enough. Still, it would be better to make it last longer just a few minutes. There's no room for improvement. Alright, and now in Rabura's room. Rabura's not in her room. She's not back from her date with Lee. Yet, I guess. 
All right, before I go to uh, my, the, the, the cat's room, I need to uh, take a quick stop at the, the bathroom and I'll be right back. I'm back. Let's check on the cat. You're here again. Well, who, who cares, meow meow? This is my room. You're paying rent, right? If by paying rent you mean washing my dick, then yes. I didn't. I asked if you were paying rent. So, what are you doing here, meow meow? What am I doing here? I just stopped in while I was looking for the Nandara Gandara. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Chiranosuke, do I really need the Nandara Gandara to get my body back? What do you mean, meow meow? Like, if I could somehow use my spirit power to drive my body outside the barrier, I could get it back without using the Nandara Gandara, right? No, 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 that's impossible. With or without the barrier, there's no way for you to steal back your body without the Nandara Gandara. And it's impossible for you to use your spirit power on room 103. The barrier keeps it from working. 
Then what happens when I use the Nam Dara Gam Dara? Does my astral body break through the barrier? There's no need to break through. Why? The Nam Dara Gam Dara also contains a powerful a power that will be the barrier of the barrier. Oh, and that wasn't just a pun. I know. So yeah, hang in there and keep it at, keep at it. Bye bye. And now he's gonna come back to scare me because I saw the rooms. Oh, now he scares the cat. Whoa! Ha! Got you back. Don't think you can use the same trick on me every time. Oh, you got me there, meow meow. Crack, 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 crack. Is that an impression or something? By the way, learn anything new? No, I really don't have a single clue I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I fear that might be the case. Follow me. Where are we going? I don't know when we get there. Oh, cinnamon! Rabura will be back soon. And the first place she'll head for is Ito's room, where the party tonight will be held. If you're your this, you'll be able to make contact with Rabura. And then I can ask her about the Nandara Gandara. That's right. But how do I ask her? All I can do is do things. Oh, you use your head for that. For example, you could use the point of a pencil to point at words in a for magazine or something. Oh, I see. By the way, why Rabura? If I spread the cinnamon into the air, I should be able to talk to anyone, right? No, it has to be Rabura. More precisely, Rabura has to be there. Why? If you want to use your spirit power without stopping time, there is one other thing you need in addition to cinnamon. It's the power of a medium, the power Rabura was born with. Unless you can resonate with her spirit power, you won't be able to what to do what you did before. What? Why is it the first time I hear about that? So Rubber thinks she has no power as a medium, but actually, yeah, yeah, like mother, like daughter. And so you turn here, Datsu. Here is your order, meow meow. Go spread cinnamon in Ito's room. Okay. I guess I just start by collecting soul fragments like always, huh? Indeed. Good luck. Now, get to work gathering soul fragments. Oh, it's Miko room. Miss Miko's room this time, huh? Keep an eye on the number of times you can play tricks and watch out for panties. Okay. Yeah. Man, what's Naruhino's problem with the invisible girl? She said it was creepy, maybe she didn't like the squid. Would an octopus be better than a squid? Both squid and octopuses are gay because of the camouflage after all. Hmm. I'm starting to think that's not the problem. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Trick start. Oh, the scribble is gonna. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> what the heck? The lights turn off. A little bit. Clean up in progress, please wait. That's weird, is something broken? That's weird, is something broken? Okay, scribble. Okay, I got four use left. Open the curtains. Mm, I don't know. 
Knock off the suit. Oh, that's gonna scare her. Turn down the, the bus saw. Uh. Yeah, turn on the... Knock off, turn on. about scribbles on the wall tramway train Ooh, scary what? What? who did this who did this all right my bar is full but now i got a fancy shot and i gotta go, go run away from that When I think about it, I guess it must have been me. The security is too good for anybody to get in there. That scared me. But when did I write this? Is something wrong with me? Hmm. Level up! Humanity has been destroyed. Zero times red zone was reached. Zero. An intruder in Korai House. No way. Well done, Yum Yum. Your spirit power level went up. It is now four. Your title went up a rank two. It is now Teen Spirit Power User. I'm a Teen Spirit. Alright, save. Complete. Okay, as you do the trick change, keep an eye on the number of times you can play tricks and well, not the bandies. If you can finish the trick change, I know you'll be able to successfully complete the other. Oh, and with your current spirit power, you can move things as long distance and also throw them. So I can do more tricks, huh? If you see a bad guy, you can also attack them by throwing things. Where would I find a bad guy? Okay, so I got three rooms to work with. I'm gonna try Ito's room for, to, to start. There's a banana peel on the floor. It's hard to find new videos with strange juice in them. If my guess is right, strange juice is actually... Oh man, this computer is not working right! Still complaining about the computer again, I see. Trick chain starts! Alright, so I got four you. I got four moves. Uh, rub on. Rubbing? Was this. Is that salt? Or pepper? I don't know, it looks like a, 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 a powder, to, a thing to. Uh, some sort of powder to rub on Louis' nose. Okay. So, no, not here. When she's gonna get, get up, I'm gonna see her panties. I don't want that. Put on the floor. I'm gonna check elsewhere first. Oh, she she's leaning on the floor and uh, on her uh, on her chest and thinking and waiting. Yeah, this is definitely a panty shot. Rubber is so late. This way, Christmas Eve will end. Oh, 
put in Mikatan's pocket. The cinnamon? Okay, let's put the cinnamon in Mikatan's pocket. There you go. And she didn't feel that. Something feels weird. Well, whatever. Okay, I think I, I did what I have to do here. I'm gonna go to Maker's room. What's Narugino's problem with squid anyway? She was like, oh, I don't like squid, they're creepy. Maybe it's something I don't know about. Scribble won't work. Knock over. What's this? What am I knocking over? Oh, the bottle fell over. Ah, she put it back on. Oh, I wasted a move. She noticed it and then she fixed it. Okay. Oh, I see pictures! Pictures of her grandfather with her! Pictures have been taken inside this room. Nice. Okay. No good, no good, no good, no good. Okay, so I made this move. Okay, I need to use my. Wait, no, no, I was right. I need to use my last two moves on Ito's room. The put the, the banana peel on the floor. Can I lift this? Yes, I can. Where did I put it? Yeah, she didn't pay attention. Then I'm gonna rub his ro nose. I hope it works. Trigger, go! Now the bear is sniffing. Huh? What's wrong, Mui? Hey, don't do that, Mui! Uh, Ito? What's wrong? Maybe I should go take a look! Now I'm bringing the, 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 the cinnamon with uh, with me, Muhi, please calm down. Now I'm knocking the tower of uh, box, the box of the, the tower of Amazon box. Ito, Ito. Oh, Mikoto. Oh, What's wrong? I heard a really loud noise. Uh, I don't know, but Mui suddenly went crazy. I see. What's that, Noshichi? Oh, uh, da da da. Let's see. Be all fairy tales, air and purple. It's a doujinshi about uh, it's, it's like a doujinshi. It's like a uh, it's like a yaoi version of uh, turtles and hair. Now she slipped on the banana peel and then she, she knocked on the floor and she knocked the cinnamon and then it 
broke into Ito's room. Oh, okay, so I think I did what I need to do. <laughs> what? Brown cinnamon? <laughs> you know, Mikatan was really freaked out when she saw that turtle Dojinchi. That's suspicious. Okay, time humanity has been destroyed, total zero, time red zone was reached, total zero. The way Mikatan's acting is suspicious. Alright, so I need to save data and this is the anime part going in. about turtles? I put it somewhere you can't see it. Forget about that. There is something I wanted to ask you. Is there something you're keeping from us? Keeping from you? No, I don't really think so. Are you sure? You're probably keeping two secrets from us. I am keeping nothing from you. See? There's the first one. I saw the official She's May site. <laughs> Sorry. Your profile says you're from Tokyo, but you're actually from Aomori, aren't you? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I'm a guy in the woo, Tokyo girl. So where, is, so where in Tokyo are you from? Uh, is that a prefecture, Igashi Matsuyama? It's like it, 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 it's like uh, all uh, it's like all of them merge into one. Like there's Shiba, there's uh, Saitama, and there's Yokohama, and then there's. Uh, Yaratsu and that's okay. That's in the middle of Saitama. Sorry, that's also Saitama. Higashimurayama is definitely part of Tokyo City. Higashimurayama. Well, that doesn't matter anyway. What's important is the second one. I'll just come out and ask. Are you strange juice or not? Don't be an ignoramus! Do I look at all like all strange juice? Nope, you don't. Right? But there's plenty of circumstantial evidence. First, I've been hearing this weird song from your room lately. I think it's karaoke or some classical Japanese song or something. But whenever I hear it, strange juice always shows up on the news a few minutes later. Is that just a coincidence? Oh, it's a total coincidence! Okay, I see. Okay then, on to the second one. This goes back to your dialect, but there's an interesting video up on Nico video. In the video, a young boy asks Strange Juice for an autograph. And this is what she says. Sorry, sugar, but do you get another pen, Andy? That's Sugaru dialect, isn't it? Then let me ask a different question. Why did Strange Juice ask if he had another pen? She didn't even try the one he was holding. The answer is simple. The pen he offered her had a turtle on it. Strange Juice was not like turtles. This is number three. I mean, you don't like turtles either, right? 
ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラブラ様、ラ
これから私はトイレに入るぞ。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から。今から
Oh, jeez. Now she put the suits on, and then she get out of the room and go back to the bathroom. And then put the strange juice <laughs> uniform on. I fooled her! I totally fooled her! Now I just need to take out the invisible in the bathroom and put on the strange juice outfit. Okay, I'm all changed! Uh, what do I do with the squid? Just in case, I should put an invisible board outside, right? No, it's invisible, invisible. And he, she tucked it inside. Oh. Woo! Sorry to get you ready! Oh, I feel so fresh and relieved now! By the way, where's the cat right now? By the way, where's the cat right now? She's sleeping in bed, I think. Oh, I see, I see, in bed, huh? She must be tired. Let her rest for a bit. Okay, you're satisfied now, right? You're sure to stay on Mikasa and Ryan and different people, huh? No, not yet. No? Not until I rip off these blankets. Wait, Tito! Wait, Tito! There's no... There's no stopping me now! I'm sure this bed is... Ito! What was that voice? It's Rabura! It's Rabura! Oh, there's an intruder inside of her apartment. So, who are you? There's a guy in a mask with a suit, and he's uh, holding, uh, holding, um... He's holding, uh, Rabura at knife point. Time until humanity destroyed seven days. So... We have no idea what's gonna happen until next week on Punchline! Um, yeah, there's gonna be a little change in my uh, schedule for next week and the weeks uh, before from now on. Uh, I decided that um, since my schedule at work has changed a bit, I'm gonna be only be available to do uh, one stream. I think it's on uh, Saturday. So Friday morning, uh, Friday afternoon, it's gonna be like uh, only um, only zero escape, and there's only one uh, only one punchline a uh, stream every week, it's only on Saturday. However, I'm gonna be playing more episodes instead of just two. So it's gonna be like three or four, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But right now, I'm gonna stay after ending credits, and then I'm gonna take a break. And after the break, it's gonna be more... It's gonna be more uh, zero escape. So... Yeah. That's gonna be it. So thank you for coming in. This is uh, Demina Mascador signing off. We're gonna host somebody. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna host. Yeah, we're gonna host uh, Slice Raven. She's doing art right now, and um, oops. We're gonna host her for a while, and then after the break. We're going to be playing...